Hi, my name is Dana Arnett, co-host of Wicked Marketing, along with my partner, Carlos Sapene. You can find more information about us and our business on LinkedIn. Or if you have any questions, email us at info at wickedbionic.com. Subscribe to Wicked Marketing on Apple Podcasts and write an awesome review for us. We're also on iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Google Play. Thanks for listening. Hi, this is Dana. And this is Carlos. Welcome to our podcast today. We are so fortunate to have the most amazing guest. Um, we're, we're really uh, excited about Denise Freed. She was our first um, client when we started Wicked Bionic. I have saved her check. She wrote us the first check. <laughs> um, she's a, a real estate maven uh, completely, and she ran a, a, an agency called the Freed Group, which is uh, in Los Angeles. And now for a number of years, she's been the sales manager for Compass which is an incredible real estate technology company. So welcome, Denise. Welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to, to, well, you guys can't see us out there, but I can see Dana and Carlos, and I just want to reach out and hug them both. I love them we so much. We want to hug you back, for sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, Denise, I think that, you know, one of the things that I love the most, aside from loving you, obviously, um, but that I love the most about the way that, Compass is approaching uh, marketing, which has really put them in a leadership position. Um, and I think it's a, it's a big part of what really works and stands out, at least from the consumer side, uh, is the way that Compass has really crafted a unique brand around themselves. And I think it's important for people to know that these sort of things really do make an impact and can be a key differentiator. For example, for me, every time I'm out there and I see a Compass sign, I know it's Compass, right? Because there's all these brand elements that are tied to it. There's all like these specifications about what, even though all these agents are working sort of in silos or different offices, there's sort of that sense of continuity. So if you can talk to us a little bit about that, the branding and... You know what I want to do, Carlos? Um, Denise, if you hold for a second, can you give us a little view? Because maybe um, our listeners aren't familiar with Compass at all. I know you have such a great pitch about them being this national company. Do you want to give us just a little context of what Compass actually is? Oh, that's great. Yeah. Sure. Um, so Compass is a real estate company that started out as a leasing company in New York City. Uh, about six years ago, uh, and then pivoted into uh, real estate brokerage, but with technology. So Compass is building the first kind of modern real estate platform pairing the industry's top talent with technology to make the search and sell experience more intelligent and more seamless. Uh, and our mission, the Compass mission, is to help everyone find their place in the world. Mm. And so that. that is the overall thing. So whether that means I'm finding my place as an employee at Compass, or I'm helping uh, uh, agents find their place here, or we're helping our clients find their place, uh, that's, that's the goal. I love and I actually, and you love that. Relevant. And it's true. It's just yeah. true. I know that about you. That's why you joined them. And I know of that from the people that we've met at Compass, Carlos and I have met. And that's like leading from the heart. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's hugely relevant messaging right now in the, in particular with the culture world that we live in, uh, finding your place in the world is just amazing. And I think yeah. that it's, it was born out of that. So, um, uh, one of our co-founders, uh, Robert Refkin, uh, is uh, half African-American and half Israeli. Mm. And he talks a lot about not fitting in, not being felt a part of, uh, feeling like the only person of color in the space that he occupied. Mm. Um, so his, his mission was, has always been inclusion, uh, whether that's um, being you know, friendly to the LGBTQ community or whether it's being, uh, right now we have a 15% pledge because 15% of America is um, black. Mm -hmm. And so our pledge is to give 15% of our marketing spend or our spend in the entire real estate industry towards black owned business. 
Oh, um, wow. So we're, we're growing our, um, our vendor list right now with architects and, and appraisers and inspectors and painters and lawyers and all of the things that support the real estate industry. So that's our, our latest initiative. And in so innovative. Always it's so innovative. And it's compass. also, <laughs> it's about really putting your, your money where your mouth is instead of trying, you know, one of the things that Dana and I talk about so much is all these companies out there uh, in the current environment with Black Lives Matter and all these issues coming, coming out <clears throat> in support, right? And that support is a tweet or a, an Instagram post. And we don't live in that world anymore where you can just put out a post and that's going to be okay. Uh, and this, this generation, and I've talked at length about it, the Gen Z generation is a very activist generation. And they're leading. They're leading. And you see their responses immediately. Oh, lovely tweet, but show us your board of directors. <laughs> right. 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 I love Let, these kids. Let's take a look they're at right. how much you're, yeah, let's take how, uh, why don't you post how much you're committing right. to this initiative? Correct. And then, <laughs> and our board of directors, I think is 40% uh, uh, women and, and people of color. So we're Perfect. really working Diverse. towards having diversity and having every voice at the table uh, be seen and heard. So and and, right. and that even makes it even better. Yes. <laughs> have you as our yeah. guest. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah. So to branding. So to branding, um, we do a couple of things that I think are unique uh, to the business. One of the things uh, that Compass is uh, famous for is that Robert goes and speaks to agents, top the top producing agents in the country, all over the country, and takes their best practices and figures out how to leverage those with technology or with our backing. And so one of the things that he discovered was uh, that the top agents in the country were paying for their clients' property to be uh, fixed up and, um, you know, tweaked a little bit so that they could receive the most dollar when we went mar uh, to market. And uh, out of that was born Compass Concierge. So Compass mm. Concierge is a program where Compass will front the money to fix up the house, whether it's plumbing or you need new kitchen cabinets or countertops or you need new flooring or you need to fix the roof or whatever the issues is are, are around the property so that um, the money doesn't go to the flipper. The money goes to the family who have paid that mortgage mm -hmm. for 30 years mm -hmm. like this. A lot of times it was, you know, this is their biggest asset mm -hmm. and it's come time to sell grandma's house. Right. And instead of grandma and the family making the money, uh, there's another somebody who buys it for a discount, flips it, and, and they're the ones that are realizing this giant profit in the end. Right. And so what we were really trying to do there is help families uh, keep their, their dollars in their family. Um, so that's really not a program that's used. It, it, in, in the beginning, there were some um, uh, investors that that took advantage of this. Um, we've since changed the rules around it and, and it's really just for, for the family to keep their property or, you know, family, I could, even if you're a family of one, you should be able to keep the money that your house is worth. And um, the, the interesting part, so this is where the technology kind of comes in, is now they've developed this thing called Compass Lens, where we can take a picture of your kitchen and we can show you a before and after of uh, what oh, your no property kidding. might look like with a little <laughs> slidey bar that goes over. So it's like, this is what it looks like now. So and this great. is what it could looks like, look like. So um, wow. that's where we can take the, you know, the marketing, tie it in with technology and show people what that looks like. Cause a lot of people can't visualize what at all, what. A, well, and I know, think what is really innovative about that from a marketing perception standpoint is that, like I said before, it's that difference between putting out the tweet and committing 15% of your revenue towards generating jobs for a specific area of the industry. It's the same sort of thing here, right? There's that concept of the agent is just representing the property to where 
uh, you're creating more of an environment where the agent is teaming up with the property owner. So they're really being that person that is not only advocating for the property, but has the best interest of the property owner in mind and works with them to maximize the profits while taking the, even the responsibility. That's kind of unheard of. And that's, that's where I feel like initiatives like that are really what are setting Compass apart from other people in the industry or other businesses in the industry. And that is nothing but a trust generator, right? It's right. a trust factor um, for the future of the company. It's really looking forward to, to how the company is going to be perceived in the future because it generates that you're in this with me, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're in for this sure. with me, then I trust you, right? Because you have money invested into my success. So I'm going to trust you more. I'm going right. to trust you right. and your recommendations more. I'm going to what is, oh, I'm sorry, Carlos. I'm so yeah, sorry. no, go ahead. Go ahead. What I was going to say, Denise, and the success of this, I would think in the last year has been, it's been quite successful. Phenomenal. Customer. Phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't even tell you how many, I think there's hundreds of millions of dollars out there in our clients' properties. And it's kind of a no brainer for us because we're going to receive those dollars back at the close mm -hmm. of escrow. It's a win-win <clears throat> for everybody. Right. The properties sell faster and for more money. Mm -hmm. The, um, the client gets their properties fixed up. We've also, um, brought in, uh, because sometimes, uh, it's not always, uh, feasible for, uh, a, a, a homeowner to move out of their house in order for us to renovate it. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. so we've instituted bridge loans in, in conjunction with this. Mm -hmm. Um, those are not free loans, but compass, uh, has been helping carry, uh, those mortgage payments for the first six months so that people have uh, a way to move on to their next property without having to sell first. Mm -hmm. That's also yeah. been super helpful during this COVID time when people don't necessarily want to be in the house when other people are coming in. Um, mm -hmm. So that's been really awesome. And just going back to the branding, um, when I first joined, one of the, the head of marketing, at least in our area, Felipe, who I just adore, and I know you we know him, that, he's know darling and fabulous. Yeah. So he was a head of uh, marketing for Tom's, but prior to that, he was the head of, uh, I think he, I don't know if he, what his title was, but he was at, um, at Ralph Lauren. And, 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 and that is kind of how I see it now. So how he explained it to me was like, Ralph Lauren has a black label at the highest end mm -hmm. and, and also sells underwear, right? Mm -hmm. But right. no matter what, you know, you're buying Ralph Lauren, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing at Compass. When you see our signs or you see our, our ads, or you see uh, a, a a marketing piece you can tell by the typeface you could tell by uh whatever it is like so each agent has their own flavor of what they bring to that mix right to the soup mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's still the same soup base right so right. It, it's so like it that's the the kind of secret sauce is that each agent brings like whether you're working in the canyon then you're your branding is going to be very much Laurel Canyon, right? Mm -hmm. But it's still going to feel like Compass. So um, in other companies that I've worked for in the past, the, the allowing of agents to just kind of willy-nilly brand themselves any which kind of way with any which kind of color on the sign right. and all of that, yeah. just it, it, it causes a total breakdown in brand recognition. And to Carlos's point, yes, yeah. you see it. You see it everywhere. We were seeing um, Stephanie Younger's billboard, you know, on the corner by the gym. When I go to the gym, I'm like, it's company. Like you can see, you know, it's. And it took a while because we, you know, we are, we live in the neighborhoods where it had to roll itself out. I remember, I'm like, when are you gonna see a compass sign? You know, instead of a Remax mm -hmm. sign, when are you gonna see a compass sign? And then it started, and it was like a creeper, right? It started to see it in this neighborhood, and and it's now it's well. I mean, just as an, an idea of the growth, when I joined Compass in Los Angeles, there were eighty agents at uh, in LA, in Greater LA. Um, now nationwide, we have over twelve thousand agents at the. Oh, company. and how long? Like two years? Uh, four years. Four years. Four, wow. years. four years. I wow. mean, it's it's Incredible been phenomenal growth. 
yeah. in a while. Well, phenomenal life. leaders. I mean, phenomenal leaders. And yeah. you're, you know, you're such a, I'm so glad you're in the position you are to manage such a, such a large group of people. I know it's not your sweet spot of comfort, but you have <laughs> stepped out of that being a, being a day-to-day, you know, owner and really um, excelled. I know leading a group, especially during this time. So it's super fun. And, and also it, it, uh, you know, I, it, it allows me to kind of network with leaders across the country. So, you know, we have uh, offices in, in Seattle, Telluride, Chicago, Greenwich, Boston, New York, like we're at Nashville, Atlanta, Florida, Austin, um, all over the coast of California. So it's, it's super fun for me to, to, um, mix with, like, I've been leader, I've been in leadership positions at different real estate companies over my 30 year, you know, (laughs) lifetime Mm -hmm. in this business. Um, and everyone has been in real estate in those, in those communities for their whole lives. What I experienced at Compass is, you know, we just got the guy who was the responsible for launching Alexa from or the head of AI from Microsoft or somebody who ran something over at Uber or Mm. my direct boss who did stuff with Tradesy and with eBay's luxury brand. So like, you know, there's there's all these people in the technology sector that I would have never had access to and Mm -mm. different ways of thinking, which I think is kind of what Carlos was talking about. It's the, it's the way that we're different because we're not long time brokerages run by <laughs> yeah. long time brokerages, which are pretty, I mean, in my opinion, a little stale in some instances. And um, so it makes it exciting and fun and innovative and messy and mm-hmm. all of it you but know? your boss well, you're, you you're, you're, the company is a, a it's a true disruptor right and it that's is. the way that you disrupt an industry so it i think is. that's that's been of great benefit to the brand overall but i think it's also of benefit not only like we said before to the customer but to the agents that get to network like you were saying learn from and and develop themselves more so than just in real estate. Right. right. And, and it allowed us, especially during this time to really, I mean, to go from, we're having this beautiful office with all these people in it and all the support to everyone go home mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and how we've been able to still manage to do the kind of business that we're doing, at least my two offices, I'm al- almost on par for my numbers for last year it's because crazy. of the technology, because we were able, because we're technology friendly, we're able to go on Zoom. We're able to launch all of these initiatives online. We're, in, we're enabled to uh, have our marketing people meet with our, our agents virtually and get the job done. They're able to go into our platform and create beautiful marketing pieces that don't need to be printed on paper and mm. sent out to the communities where, you know, just like every piece of, of, of uh, like we've really, <laughs> I worked so hard those first few weeks. I know uh, I saw you, that was something was insane. But I think because we are a technology company and a real estate company, we were able to, to move fast yes. in a mm-hmm. new way of behaving um, that didn't really cause too much pain for our agents or our, or their clients, you know, I I think one of the things that I would say to just wrap it up on, on this um, is that Dana and I were having a conversation today about how people tend to uh, mix together what marketing and advertising and sales is right. And sort of confuse the terms of what each of them means. And it's incredible to see a company that truly is all about sales, right? Be a real marketer, be a, have a real understanding that what the message of the company is, is what marketing is, right? The perception of the company out there is what marketing is. And if you're really going to be a true marketer, you have to take care of not only your brand, but your people, the perception that your people are putting out there when they're talking about your brand, which you always see Compass people being proud of saying that they're with Compass and explaining how great of a brand it is, right? And then a focus on your customer. So you have all three right there 
those are the perfect elements of a great marketing strategy. Yes. So great, Denise. I, we're so you know happy for you. We just love you. I've known you for practically 30 years and um, we've bought and sold homes together and you we worked have, with Carlos. With me too. <laughs> wait, 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 we've, we've sold properties together for so long that I sent Dana a picture during COVID because I was cleaning out a closet of uh-huh. a floppy three and a half inch floppy disk of yeah. pictures from one of the condos. My very first, first condo uh, you sold. Uh, my uh, very, uh, and I'm like, Denise, I got to see those pictures. I got to remember what with us. She goes, I don't know what the hell to do. Yeah, who's, who's, who can <laughs> trust for that data? <laughs> we, we, we just, we left it into our memories. Oh my gosh, that was so great. And I'm really proud of your success and all the work that you're doing and leading such a, a great team. You've been, you've been Thanks. terrific. Thank we you for being with you guys. Today. Thank you so much for Thank having you. me. I love you guys. And I'm so proud of what you've done and what you've accomplished. I'm just. I'm just proud to call you my friends and um, oh, you guys are amazing. Denise, so thank, sure. you, Denise. thank you. Thank you. All right. Talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you. All right. We want to thank everyone for listening today to this great conversation with Denise Freed. Uh, just a reminder, what we learned today is that there's three key pieces to your marketing that you have to keep in mind. One is your branding, but the other one is also what the perception of your brand is And that is driven not only by how much you care and listen to your consumer, but also how much you care for and take care of the people that work for you, because they are the representatives of your brand. We hope you enjoyed today's podcast, and we look forward to having you on our next one. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Thank you for listening today. Don't forget to subscribe to and share Wicked Marketing on Apple Podcasts and write an awesome review for us. We are also on iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Google Play. See you next time.